when you have a rotator cuff tear, the size of the tear matters and how old the tear, both of those things matter. And I want you to think about this. The rotator cuff tendon is attached to your humerus at the greater tuberosity. And when it tears off, it loses its blood supply. It essentially loses its nutrition. So you can think of the tendon as beginning to starve. It becomes starved and it starts to lose its strength. It loses its elasticity and becomes very shriveled up and becomes a uh, very poor quality. So once a rotator cuff tear, a complete tear occurs, just think of the tendon losing its nutrition. The longer the rotator cuff tendon has been torn, the harder it is for us to fix them. Technically, we can tack anything back down to a bone. We can take the worst looking rotator cuff tendon, we can pull it and reattach it to the bone. The problem is, will it heal? Will it immediately re-tear because the tendon is such poor quality? Or will it heal, but then it just re-tears very quickly or just never heals at all? So those are the options when you have a really large, old rotator cuff tear. What is large? Anything greater than 2.5 centimeters, we start considering large. Anything greater than three to three and a half centimeters, we consider that massive. The more tendon that is torn, the less nutrition the rest of the tendon is receiving and the torn part is receiving makes it harder for it to be repaired.